Hey guys, it's Hummingbird. Hope you're all having a good day so far. I don't usually film quite this early in the morning, but uh, I will uh, be going out with my friend Hazelnut later. We're gonna go uh, check out one of our favorite metaphysical shops, uh, kind of in the area here, that's uh, run by some friends of ours. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be out this afternoon. Anyway, um, I decided yesterday that I was uh, going to give something a try that, you know, I've seen uh, a couple different people talking about online, and that was um, doing a tarot spread for uh, the, the coming year 2016. Um, and just, you know, kind of... Uh, you know, uh, drawing a card to see kind of, like, what each month is going to be like. Uh, and, you know, it started off, you know, going real well, and then right about April it just kind of went... And I was like, huh, well, that's not exactly what I would call awesome. <laughs> So, um, I decided that I was going to make kind of a video about what my results were, um, because I'm, I'm not a professional tarot reader by, uh, any stretch of the imagination. I read it, uh, you know, occasionally. Um, I would do it more if I remembered too often. I just, I just forget, and then, you know, months go by, and I haven't done very much. Um, but anyway... Uh, so long story short, uh, I'm just gonna kind of go through what my results here were, uh, I've got my, my handy dandy notebook here that I record all that kind of stuff in, um, and hopefully you guys can either, you know, um, maybe give me a little bit more insight into my results, or maybe, um, if you happen to have an idea of something that I could do to kind of uh, improve the outlook or something, I have some ideas, but um, I just think that, you know, talking it out with uh, with you guys might be helpful. So, okay, um, for January, uh, I got the Knight of Cups, and basically I was just kind of, kind of phrasing my question like, you know, um, what, uh, what do I need to know about January of 2016? What is going to be, like, the, the overarching theme for January? And so that, that was kind of how I, I phrased it for each month, you know, and I shuffled my cards and pulled one. Um, and then after I'd done each month, I just, I reshuffled that card back in so that I was working with the whole deck. Um, I never actually got any repeats, but I just wanted to make sure that I, I was working with the full deck as I was doing it, so, yeah. Anyway, um... So I got the Knight of Cups for January, uh, which to me, um, like my initial impression was kind of uh, moving forward emotionally, um, and then uh, I, I was using the Shadowscapes Tarot, which I really like. I know there's kind of some mixed feelings about that from different people I've seen, um, but I really like it. And I will probably do a video about my Shadowscapes deck at some point. Um, but so then that, of course, comes with its uh, a pretty decent-sized book that explains everything. So I, I basically I wrote down my initial impressions and then kind of um, anything else that the book had to say about it. Um, so then the, the book threw in, you know, kind of following one's dreams, using one's intuition, uh, and going after whatever it is that you want. Um, which, to me, was an auspicious start to the year. Like, okay, sounds pretty good. Uh, you know, a lot of the, the workings that I did last year were about letting go of uh, older emotional baggage. So I was like, okay, you know, move, moving forward sounds like a step in the right direction. Uh, for February, then I got the Five of Swords reversed. Uh, and I know not everybody reads reverse meanings for cards. Um, I guess I do, simply because I feel like it gives me um, more insight into what's going on. Um, I don't honestly feel like it matters that much, just you kind of got to decide before you do your reading what you're going to do. Because like, if you're like, 
pull a reversed card and you're like, oh, well, I don't like the reversed meaning of this, so I'm just gonna read the upright meaning. Like, that's kind of skewing your results. You just gotta, you kinda gotta decide beforehand what you're gonna do. So I decided that I was going to read the reversed meanings. Um, so my initial impression for Five of Swords was, like, moving away from conflict, which was good. Um, and then the book doesn't list reversed meanings, so I, um, did a little outside research on that, um, and what I, the kind of, the impression I was getting from the internet was, um, you know, wanting to be able to forgive and forget, uh, and to move on, but, um, you know, some old conflicts, uh, old wounds might be, uh, aggravated, and, you know, that may be something that you have to deal with, which, you know, okay, again, I, I can kind of see that, um, it's maybe not the most fun thing in the world, but, but, yeah, sure, you know, um, uh, obviously any time that you're doing shadow work or anything of that nature where you're dealing with hard stuff from your past, then yeah, sure, I, I can see, you know, that kind of coming up again and, you know, being a little, um, tenuous for a while. Um, and then March was the Ace of Cups, which I was like, okay, that's pretty good too, you know, um, Ace of Cups is kind of, you know, uh, fresh start a little bit, uh, some emotional clarity, you know, um, kind of a upspring of love, of compassion, like, that's good, and, you know, March is my birthday month, so that's great, and it's a spring equinox, so it's finally getting lighter outside, and, you know, all of those are good things, so I was like, okay, yours sounds pretty solid so far. And then we got to April, and for April, I had the Ten of Pentacles reversed, which... That, to me, reads as, like, a financial loss kind of a thing, um, a stumbling block, maybe. Um, and, let's see, did I get anything else on that front? Yeah, kind of a, a loss of security or stability kind of thing, so that was a little less than great. And then in May, I had the Ace of Pentacles also reversed, which to me is reading as a continuation of the financial problems from April, um, possibly failure of a financial venture, um, and yeah, so that Looks to me, anyway, like some money troubles starting starting in April, but uh, if you guys have any input there, I'd appreciate it. Um, June, I got the Six of Cups, which was okay, you know, that's pretty decent. Um, something that that was suggesting to me was getting together with old friends, um, you know, simple joys of life, which, okay cool, cool, you know, beginning of summer vacation, it's kind of chill, um, and then we got to July, which was the Three of Wands reversed, um, and that, to me, was suggesting maybe a journey that doesn't go how you're expecting it to, um, some kind of a, a leadership setback, um, and then online it was also saying, um, not maybe you're disappointed in yourself for not meeting a goal, uh, especially, like, involving personal development. Uh, and then around August, things were looking really bizarre, uh, because then I pulled the moon reversed, um, which that was suggesting... Um, like having gone through a period of anxiety that's now starting to recede, but you don't quite know how to go forward, which then leads into September with the star reversed, uh, which that, to me, was not a good thing to pull there at all. <laughs> um, 
and that was looking like um, you know a lot of negativity um, feeling uninspired uncertainty all that sort of a thing going into October then we had judgment reversed um, which was looking like doubt stagnation um, again kind of a lack of inspiration um, self-judgment at November um, then we got the two of wands okay so that was kind of a step in the right direction there you know um, that was uh, a personal power card so I was like okay so by the very end of the year things are you know looking a little better again uh, and then for December, I had the Hermit reversed, um, which, uh, at, at least from how I was looking at it, was kind of reading as, you know, either taking too much time for introspection or not enough and having to find, like, a balance there. So, I mean, overall, it's not probably the worst reading that I could have had, but, um... It looks like there's definitely going to be uh, some stumbling blocks this year that I'm trying to figure out how to manage, I guess. And one of the other things I was looking at was there were eight reversed cards in this reading, if I counted correctly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight reversed cards in this reading. Which, that's over half the year. That's a lot of reversed cards. Um, and so what that was looking like to me was that there's still like, like a big energy block there somewhere that I need to deal with. Or maybe there's several energy blocks. So I'm thinking that I'm going to do maybe another tarot spread here this morning to see kind of uh, if I can figure out what's causing that. But um, otherwise, in the meantime, if you guys have any suggestions about what I should look for, um, and let's I guess let's start with the with say April and May where I had the the ten of the ten and the Ace of Pentacles reversed since that's coming up sooner and you know I I have less time to uh, you know be proactive about that. Um, if you guys have any suggestions about what any of that might mean or what I could kind of do to ameliorate it, that would be awesome. Um, certainly. Uh, I will be uh, taking some preventative steps in there, but uh, if anyone with more experience or, you know, who's very good at tarot has a, a suggestion for me, that would be awesome. And I guess that's uh, kind of what I was going to say here. I guess I'm going to go do another tarot reading this morning, and I hope you guys are all having a good day. Um, you know, uh, if you're interested in doing your own tarot spread for the year, you certainly can. Uh, it's pretty easy, I think, just to pull, uh, 12 cards, one for each month. Um, or you could do, you know, kind of like a big picture reading, I don't know. The other thing that you might consider is using, excuse me, um, oracle cards instead of tarot cards. I... I kind of feel in my head like oracle cards might be a little bit easier to read in this particular case than tarot would be, but I don't have oracle cards, so I just, I went with tarot. Um, yeah. Anyway, you guys all have a good day, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Uh, and thanks.